Elias Lobin. I am a dealer and expert in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com, where at the time of the making of this film I have over 6,700 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity gives you a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and it comes complete with my signature. I've uh, identified over 28,000 authentication coins and artifacts over the years. The coins that I sell come in a professional numismatic flip, allowing you to look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking it out of the pr protective flip that it's in. And it has a short description with a unique number that matches the certificate that allows you to take this the coin itself separately in this case and show it to your friends, uh, put it in a safe place, do what you will with it. The descriptions are professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection. And in the back you get the historical context of the item that you have purchased. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field of ancient coins, or you'd like to find out more, or if you believe, as I do, that this makes a great gift and a fantastic investment, you may want to check out my site, Trusted coins.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Roman Emperor, actually Byzantine Emperor, Justin II. This is what Justin II looked like. I have many coins of Justin II in my store. A lot of them actually depict him and his queen wife, Sophia, also seated together on a throne. So it's a beautiful piece celebrating both the emperor and the empress of the Byzantine Empire. Now for his biography. Justin II, Flavius Justinus Jr. Augustus, was born around 520 AD and lived until the 5th of October 578, was Byzantine emperor from 565 to 578 AD. He was the husband of Sophia, whom I mentioned had coin with him, nephew of Justinian I and late Empress Theodora, and was therefore a member of the Justinian dynasty. He was a son of Vigilantia and Dulcidio, respectively the sister and brother-in-law of Justinian. Justinian I died in November 565. Justin accepted the throne and with his wife Sophia he was escorted to the great palace of Constantinople where patriarch of Constantinople crowned the new Augustus. In the first few days of his reign Justin paid his uncle's debts, administered justice in person and proclaimed universal religious toleration. Contrary to his uncle Justin relied completely on the support of his aristocratic party. Proud of character and faced with an empty treasury, he discontinued Justinian's practice of buying off potential enemies. Justin halted the payments of subsidies to the Avars. Avars in the neighboring tribe of the Lombards quickly overran the Po Valley, and within a few years they had made themselves masters of, a, of nearly the entire country. They were the only po placated by the payment of subsidy of 60 thousand silver pieces by Justin's successor Tiberius. In 572 his refusal to pay tribute led to war with the Sassanid Empire. After two disastrous campaigns in which Persians overran Syria and captured the strategically important fortress of Dara, Mesopotamia, Justin reportedly lost his mind. The temporary fits of insanity into which Justin fell warned him to name a Khalib. Passing over his own relatives, he raised, on the advice of wife Sophia, the general Tiberius to be Caesar in December 574, adopting him as his son, and withdrew into retirement. Justin II slipped into the unbridled madness into it in his final days. He was pulled through the palace on a wheeled throne, biting attendants as, as he passed. He ordered organ music to be played constantly throughout the palace in an attempt to soothe his frenzied mind. In silence and in tears, the assembly applauded the councils and sympathized with the repentance of their prince. Tiberius received the diadem on his knees, and Justin addressed the new monarch in the following words. If you consent, I live. If you command, I die. May the God of heaven and earth infuse you into your heart 
whatever I have neglected or forgot. Sophia and Tiberius ruled against, uh, ruled together as joint regents for four years, while Justin sank into growing insanity. When Justin died in 578, Tiberius succeeded him as Tiberius II Constantine. So visit my site, trustedcoins.com, to buy authentic coins of Justin II. Thank you.